the day the kitty ran off. Sometimes a message is hidden right before your eyes. A part of your soul you have tucked away, saying, it was nothing with you now. In God, he loves God's love, he will pull out areas you have tucked away to clean them, to make a path smooth for the Lord to rule in your heart. For me, the answer comes in a song. Yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey. The part that came through was called rejection. I saw what came across was that I was rejected by my kitty who did not want to live in a house provided. I got angry. Instead of asking God, why am I feeling this? God is love and in Christ Jesus he was rejected and bruised and yes he weeped. For in their rejection and loss and pain will occur to those who did not accept salvation in the hour. So back to my area of rejection. Yes, this memory comes back to another moment to forgive those who rejected me. School kids, and yes, a stupid cat. Not the one that, dis not the one that disappeared but a cat who clearly rejected me. So in turn of, instead of giving over to anger of being rejected, I took it out on this big cat as she walked down the stove and refused to move in defiance. Rejected and angry, I got mad and I turned that part of the stove on. Delilah, this cat, got her whiskers burnt on the one side I justified this act of anger and I and I hurt her. She did she did recover and walked away. God is working that moment in me as a moment with its sin, yes sin, is being lifted and shown. Hide it not. Address this before God asking forgiveness. So I had to forgive those who rejected me and repent on this. One who I rejected and hurt so the cycle would be completed. Knowing Christ is there to fill in the area of rejection and with acceptance for he was bruised for us and died to pay for those areas of sin we committed. In repentance, we chose not to allow those broken areas to cause others pain. So after work, yep, God tends to come with a situation at the most inconvenient time. So back to home, I ask God now, now that I got the message, can I have my cat back? I opened the back door and she came back. A little dirty, but safe and healthy. So loving and I guess fully happy. Just another part of this soul. So I asked God, why this? And he gave me Hebrews 12, verse 2-4. through 4. A cloud of witnesses are all watching to see this change accomplished in the sun and removed before a root of bitterness that takes hold. It's part of the race. Look at Jesus who sits on the right hand of Yahweh and at the power of the Holy Spirit is an author and finisher of our faith. Yeshua Jesus who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised in shame and sat down on the right side of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinner against himself lest be wearied and faint in our minds for we are not 
resisted on the blood. That's right. By me willing to give this to God and have Him forgive, that moment of rejection that I felt was removed. And my cat came back. <laughs>